isn't making vermilion at home so easy? From the video, recall that when turmeric is mixed with quicklime, or simply lime, which is nothing but calcium oxide, and some water, the mixture changes color from yellow, which is the color of turmeric, to a deep red. We then add vinegar to this red powder and it turns back to yellow. Why does this happen? What can we learn from this? Do you wonder why turmeric changes from yellow to red? Do you know why we must use lime or vinegar? Now turmeric has a unique property. It changes color from yellow to red when it encounters a base. But it doesn't change its color when it encounters a neutral or an acidic substance. This means if we have a solution with a base and turmeric, it would be red in color. In this solution, if we progressively add acid, the solution will transition from being a base to neutral to acid. This will change the color of turmeric in the solution from red gradually back to yellow as the solution becomes neutral and then acidic. In this activity, lime water solution, which we call, which is calcium hydroxide and which you can call slaked lime more commonly, is basic in nature. Vinegar, which is acetic acid, is acidic and it can again make the solution neutral and then acidic. This is a good household experiment on a standard chemical lab procedure called titration that uses an indicator, which is turmeric in this case, to test the concentration of acid or base. Why is turmeric yellow in color? This seems like a trivial question, but many of us don't know the answer. Thankfully, our friendly scientists had a lot of fun while working hard on this question and found an answer. Turmeric has a pigment called xanthophyll. This yellow pigment gives turmeric its yellow color. It also contains another red colored pigment called carotene. But xanthophyll is more predominant in its natural state. This gives turmeric its yellow color. However, when turmeric is mixed with lime or any other basic mixture, this turmeric turns red. This is nothing but vermilion, or more commonly known as kumkum, and this is basic in nature. This suppresses the property of the xanthophyll pigment and makes the carotene pigment more predominant. As a result, the mixture turns red. This gives kumkum its red color. So the way turmeric is a good indicator for a base, kumkum or vermilion is a good indicator for an acid. It will turn yellow when exposed to an acidic substance, but will remain red when exposed to a neutral or basic solution. So the property of a good indicator is it should change color visibly when the solution changes its property from acid to base or vice versa. Some variations you can try in this experiment. As you now understand, this is a good activity to identify if a substance is basic. Now consider repeating the above fun activity by mixing turmeric with any of the household edible items and see if it changes color to red. Consider trying safe substances like cucumber extract, lemon juice, tender coconut water, tomato juice, tamarind extract, orange juice, grapes, apple juice, etc. Further, try repeating the experiment on non-edible but safe substances like soap water, toothpaste, etc. You can also test it with other bodily fluids like urine, sweat, saliva, etc. You can make turmeric and vermilion samples and they become your base and acid indicators respectively to test various household substances. While conducting the experiments, you may face the following issues or wonder what would happen in the following cases. For example, what if the amount of turmeric is too high? There would be less lime compared to turmeric, so the shade of red would be lighter. What if vinegar is high? This would imply that there's too much acid. The turmeric would be yellow. This won't impact the outcome, but would have wasted some extra vinegar. What if the lime is too high? Well, this implies that there's too much base. Turmeric is already red and it will take more acid to become yellow again. Some scientific terms that we would like to familiarize you with. A solution is a liquid, which we call a solvent, into which a solid, which is a solute, has mixed and dissolved. An acid is a substance capable of donating a hydrogen ion or a proton, tastes sour, is corrosive in nature, changes the color of indicators, for example, turns blue litmus red, reacts with bases to form salts, often reacts with metals to release hydrogen, and is always willing to donate a proton or accept electrons. 
Bases are substances that, in aqueous solution, are slippery to the touch, taste astringent or bitter, change the color of indicators, for example, turn red litmus paper blue, react with acids to form salts, promote certain chemical reactions like base catalysis, accept protons from any proton donor, and or contain completely or partially displaceable hydroxyl, which is OH minus ions. Examples of bases are the hydroxides of the alkali metals and alkaline earth metals like sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, hydroxide etc. Indicators are weak acids or bases that change color or some other physical property such as smell depending on the pH of the solution. Titration is a common chemical laboratory procedure used to determine the concentration of a solution. A pigment is a substance that gives a particular color to a substance when it is present in it or is added to it. pH, this is a mathematical representation of the hydrogen ion or proton concentration in a solution and is defined as the following, that is pH is equal to minus log to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration of the solution in moles per liter. pH values range from 0 to 14. 7 is a neutral solution. Any solution with a pH less than 7 is acidic and more than 7 is basic. Some applications for this experiment. Any situation that requires identification of an acid or a base, you can use turmeric or vermilion to figure that out. Chemistry lab titration to determine the concentration of acid base in an unknown solution can also be done using either of these indicators. Some prerequisites. You should have a general idea of what an acid, base and indicator are. Some basic precautions regarding the strength of acids and bases. The stronger acids and bases, for example, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, etc. should not be handled with bare hands and should only be handled in their dilute solution forms. Weaker acids and bases are safe to touch but may cause irritation if there is prolonged contact. None of the materials used in these experiments, even if technically edible, should be ingested. Please wash your hands thoroughly after conducting these experiments. Hopefully you have enjoyed this activity and got to learn about indicators of acids and bases and how to use them to identify if a substance is a base or not. Let's hope you now look at substances around you with greater curiosity and intrigue. Thank you for watching.